everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do kind of a uh, pink five petal flower uh, vine kind of a design on this green glass bottle. And I am going to be using two Imagic paint brushes. One is the number six and one is the number eight. Again, these are both flat brushes and then a dotting stylus. You can use anything you want to use as a dotting tool. You don't actually have to have a specific tool for that. I'm going to be using Wicker White, Thicket, Magenta, and a little bit of Pure Orange, and I'm trying to think what else here and lime green all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to use the number eight flat brush to start with the the flower petals I am double loading with a little bit of magenta on one side a little bit of the the wicker white and then I'm going to do my blending stroke and I'm sorry I just Today, the way I'm set up, don't have room to show you the plate, but it's just some basic dip in each side, and then you begin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start up here. Already got paint on me, and I'm just gonna do just some quick, kind of like teardrop strokes, and. It doesn't really matter how many you put in a clump. If you want, you can do a you know, set amount, or you can just kind of eyeball it. I think I like to have like maybe five in my smaller bundles, and then the larger one will have a little bit more, but again, I'm not going to set a number. It's just whatever I can fit into my project right now. Now this one that I'm doing right now is just temp a temporary one that I'm going to just do on the glass and and for the purpose of the video and then wipe it off. This is not a bottle that I'll be selling. And I like to try to turn my brushes as I'm working and kind of make them little bit unique I guess in a sense where they're not all like pink on the outer edges the light white or whatnot uh, with all of them I can switch them up a little bit and like this one I'm going to come here with the darker on the bottom Oh, just to mention too that I did actually clean the bottle. I washed it with soap and water and then you go over it with rubbing alcohol. That way you know that it's clean and will be free of any lint that might be left behind when you're drying it or any kind of oil from your fingers, that type of thing. And you can use a smaller brush if you choose. I'm trying to make these a little bit smaller. Up to you. And if you want to switch the colors around, you can do so many and then turn it as you're going. Or if you want to do it to where you're you're pretending like you're paying attention to the light source, you can do that too. I'm not really too concerned about that. So I'm just putting them on as I see fit. Just eyeballing them. Now too, if you feel like you're not getting good enough coverage, like these are a little bit not as opaque as I'd like to see them because when you're painting, the more opaque your design is, the 
more durable it's going to be. So if it's being handled or washed, like if you're doing wine glasses, that type of thing, that will make it more durable if your coverage is good. If your coverage isn't good, then you're at risk of it, your design scratching. I get it too many, too many there. So that's that's a concern too. When you're painting, if you get too much paint on your paintbrush and you feel like you need to clean it off, I would recommend just wiping it off and then starting again. And the main reason for that is just so that you don't compromise your project with water in your brush, especially when you're working on glass. Because when you work on glass, it's very important that you don't delete, or delete, excuse me, dilute, that's what I'm trying to say, with water, that you use the flow medium or the clear medium if you need to make your paint thinner for some reason. And one reason I could think of that you would do that is if you're trying to do some kind of a, oh, like a wig, uh, with like a liner brush and you're trying to put the little swirls in, sometimes you might need it to be inkier. Or if you're doing like the center part of your flowers and you want just to put some little little poles through the center sometimes that's a good time to thin out the paint but you don't want to do it with water all right so now I'm just gonna do probably a three petal down here just for the fact or three of the five petals I should say just for the fact that my bottles not that big so I want to make sure I get everything on here that I want and I like to work in odd numbers, that's why I'm doing it as three of the five petals instead of five of the five petals. And I could have done that up at the top too. Again, that's okay. Either way, I'm going to put this off here. Now personally, if I was going to sell this, I would probably use a heat gun and go over these again just to make them thicker, give them better coverage, for, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to do that right now. And then I'm just going to come over here and let me see here, maybe I'll do on up here. Another way you can do these, you don't have to do the full five petals either. You could do three petals and then go ahead and put another uh, flower bloom underneath it or beside it. That's up to you. On this one I'm doing, you know, actually doing the, the five full petals. All right, so then I'm going to take my brush, and this is the number six. Dip it into the magenta or the uh, thicket and the lime, and I am going to start off by doing my little vine, and I'm going to come down like that. Now I could also tip my brush into the white a little bit, which I kind of like that too and bring that in here. When you do two or three different colors, especially the three, a lot of times that just makes it show up a little bit better. Okay, so then I am going to pick a spot here and I am going to be doing this with the lighter, brighter green on the outside from most of them so that it shows up better, but not all of it. 
On this one I'm going to come over here with the darker side and then just pull it down. And when you do this kind of a petal, you may not need to put a stem through it. If you feel like you do, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Just go ahead and do it. Alright, so I'm going to go up here again. I'm still doing my wigglies. I just want to be careful though because when you're working on glass at all times when you wiggle your brush, it can actually remove the paint. So that's why I'm really cautious with it. And you'll see me lift the brush up. Not as easy, not the same as trying to do it on paper. That's why I strongly recommend using wax paper to practice on. If you get the, the feel in your hands as far as creating the designs and doing the stroke work, that helps. It really does. And I know that may sound odd, but it really can help you with that. Alright. Also, too, when you're doing these types of projects, it's kind of nice to, um, you know, you can use different colors. You don't have to use all the same greens. Maybe add some blue in them, maybe add some brown. And the reason I say that is just, you know, create a lot of different, different leaves. I like leaves. But they don't all have to be in the same colors. I mean, you could even put brown in them or have brown leaves, like yellow ochre, yellow ochre with some brown. It's just, it gives it more interest, I guess, when you're doing it. And I think that's, I'm going to turn this this way, that makes it, gives it a little bit more interest. And I like when, when things you know, more pleasing to the eye or stand out more. Alright, so over here I'm going to do another wiggle. I pulled in a little bit of pink, which is fine. And I'm just being real cautious with it. And here we go again. Now, when you're painting, you can actually put some of these leaves down first. instead of painting over the top of them. Got too much pink in there, which is fine. It's okay, that happens when you're working wet on wet. But I'm going to just go over it a little bit more, kind of take a little bit of that pink out, and run my center. Just see how pretty though, I mean it just takes a little bit of painting, and you really can create something pretty Something pretty. You know, the holidays will be here before you know it. Why not take some time and get painting and create some gifts? You know, homemade gifts don't have to be ones that you think, ugh, I'm getting a homemade gift. You can create some pretty stuff. Unique. I mean, gift giving doesn't have to be expensive. Got a creative touch and you're ready to go. Once again, I'm going to do a little stem through it. And I hope you like this. I hope you are enjoying what I'm doing here. It's fun, very relaxing. And I am going to turn this, go up like that. And then come through here. And I don't have a whole lot of room left just for some, some easy one-stroke leaves. But I'm going to just put a few in. My design, the initial design had a lot more, but I'm just going to put a few in. Maybe even come up here, 
get it up on the top here. But see with using the even using the different colors, you know not, not all the leaves are the same. I mean it's not as big of a difference as if I were to put some blue or uh, yellow or anything like that in it, but it's still there's a variance, you can tell. And I'm gonna just put maybe a couple here. Again, they're just really really little. I'm just going to put little stems on. They don't have to be big. A big to do at all. And I think I'm going to stop with that part of it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just very easy. Take the dotting stylus. I'm going to dip it into the orange that I have here, the pure orange. And I'm going to dip some dots. Sorry, my air conditioning's kicking on. Try to get through these before that happens, but don't always make it. Anyways, just dot, doing some simple dotting in the centers of each one. Now you could just do a bigger center, with a bigger dot, if you wanted to do that, or you could do, you know, with what like I do with my little deer foot stipplers. But I am just doing it with the dots this evening. And keep in mind too, if you would, my channel is for easy painting. These are not meant to be anything difficult. These are meant to be for beginner painters. so that people can be encouraged to be creative. I'm hoping to be an inspiration. Let's see, when you add a little bit more color to it, even though it's still a very light color, it, it still helps give it another a pop. If you want to leave it with just the orange, then that would be fine too. up to you. But I think that's pretty. You know, you never know when you're painting on a green bottle how well it's going to show. I think I end up getting a little green in there. Oops, did it again. Alright, here we go. Alright, we are finished. I hope you like this. If you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And when you are finished watching the video, please share this on your social network with all your family and friends. Just hit that share button you'll see underneath. It'll give you the options of the different social networks that you can share it on. And easy peasy. All right, thanks again for stopping by. I hope that you stay safe and healthy, and until the next time, you have a good one.